Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out today. It's a great morning to walk or to run. I'm a radiation oncologist, and I work with many wonderful lung cancer patients and their families every day. I'm grateful to be able to spend the morning with you. We're all here for an important reason. Whether you personally have fought lung cancer, have friends or family who have, or are involved in treating lung cancer, we know that this is a cause worth fighting for. Many are aware of the bad news about lung cancer, that it can be aggressive, that it involves a vital organ, that many are diagnosed with late stage disease. But there is good news too, not the least of which is that there are so many people, including everyone here, who are invested in making a difference and bringing awareness to this disease. Number two is that lung cancer screening is simple and effective. In the past, lung cancer screening was done with chest x-rays, and this, unfortunately, did not show a benefit in decreasing deaths from lung cancer. Analyzing phlegm, or sputum, mucus, which is coughed up from the lungs and viewed under a microscope to check for cancer cells, has also been studied. However, the use of chest x-ray and sputum cytology, whether alone or in combination, did not result in a decreased risk of dying from lung cancer. Nevertheless, researchers continue to press on, looking for a better way to screen for lung cancer. There is now evidence that annual screening CT for those aged 55 and older who have a long history of smoking does significantly decrease death from lung cancer. The reason is if you can catch lung cancer at an earlier stage where tumors are smaller, more people can be given curative treatments like surgery or radiation therapy. What does screening involve and is it safe? Screening is a low dose CT or CAT scan that provides three dimensional images of pictures inside the body. It is fast, painless, and non-invasive. Low dose CT produces images of sufficient quality to detect many abnormalities using up to 90% less ionizing radiation than a conventional CT of the chest. No radiation will remain in the body after the test is done. However, many people are unaware about this effective screening test for lung cancer. So let's talk to our friends and neighbors about it. It's as normal as getting a screening mammogram for breast cancer, a PSA test for prostate cancer, or a colonoscopy for colon cancer screening. If you are a current or former smoker, please discuss this with your primary care physician. Finally, I encourage anyone who is a current smoker to discuss smoking cessation with their physicians. Here are some fun facts from the U.S. Surgeon General's report and the American Cancer Society. Within just minutes after smoking the last cigarette, your body will start to heal itself. 20 minutes after quitting, heart rate and blood pressure drop. 12 hours after quitting, carbon monoxide levels in the blood drop to normal. Two to three months after quitting, circulation improves, meaning blood is pumped better throughout the body. One to nine months after quitting, coughing and shortness of breath decrease and lung function improves. One year after quitting, the excess risk of coronary artery disease is half that of the smokers. Five years after quitting, the risk of stroke is reduced to that of a non-smoker. And 10 years after quitting, lung cancer death rate is about half that of a person who is still smoking. So in conclusion, screening makes a difference, but prevention is key. Together we can snuff out lung cancer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bonner. I've got a few just